You may not believe it, but this is actually delicious. So. so I got out of the hotel this morning, got my bread, and got back to the mango acres here. <laughs> but you can see that they've uh, done some work in the last few days. They cut up all the straight pieces that we had. We've got a lot of stuff left that not going to be able to be used for the side of the house. We're going to have to buy some. But isn't that cute? I mean, that's a little cross beam there. It's looking cool. And it, it gives us space where we can get in. We can get in out of the rain like it's raining right now. We've got the roof, we got that. So the caretaker house is really starting to take shape. We got a we got a blue barrel. Took my yellow bike over here today. We got a blue barrel for water. So yeah, I decided to keep this thing. I think I'm gonna keep it in Gimaras and start taking the the Parola, the passenger ferry. We got our dogs out here too. George, he doesn't like to be bothered. And we got another little puppy in there. He's asleep. But they slept in here. A lot of them slept in here last night. We had some extra roofing, so we put it on the side to kind of block the wind. And there's the luxurious appointments in here. We spared no expense. I did get the I did get us a stove. We're gonna put that thing together and use it today. That's gonna to help a lot. So George is still scratching. Still probably got a few fleas left, but he looks a lot better. And then that's a new and blacky. There's Michael and uh, Rodan. They're working today. They're working straight through, even though we got some more family here, Diane and Jenny. So the kids, I don't know where they're at. They're running around somewhere. It's like a school lunch. One here. thing I really love about Filipino culture There's is lunch lady. the all of Filipino culture pretty much is centered around the family. You know, they have a term they call it. Uh, I kind of always smile at it. They say family bonding or bonding bonding they'll do a facebook post they got my favorite corned beef hash there on the plate i'll be partaking of that here just in a minute but uh yeah family is is paramount in the philippines and this is a good example of that the kids will be sprawled out in different places marvin's on his phone there you know the some of the girls are out getting their food and even family includes other people uh, there's John he's he's my nephew and uh, girl walking in there she's she's an extended family she's by relation she's family and uh, yeah so they put out very very high priority they really look forward to times like these they don't have to have a lot of money the kids they just they spend time together they're out in nature now Michael and Rodan there they're still working but they were working for two weeks straight, but they wanted to have some family. So we decided to have this get together. And so that's what we did. We had about, uh, I think 16 people, all the kids and, and everybody included. There was about 15 to 16 of us out there. And you can see the kids, they're just still in their pajamas. They're just kind of hanging out. We're having a breakfast probably about nine o'clock. I'm getting ready to partake of my corned beef hash i did that other video on One cheap filipino favorites. meals and it was tuna hash i don't eat this like this all the time but it is delicious you can see a little dangit there and uh i call that the the bacon of the philippines so it, it's pretty good it's actually pretty good you may not believe it but this is actually delicious so there's the eye right there <laughs> it's like it's like fish bacon <laughs> pretty good 
So finally, everybody got to sit down and enjoy their meal. Jenny's trying to get rid of a fly there. The dogs are searching for scraps of food under the table. They're hoping somebody's going to drop something here pretty soon. And we usually do. Usually they'll get a little bit there. And then when everybody gets done, the plates are cleaned up, then they'll get their extra. There's like as she come up to the Go breakfast bar the there. Bar. She's she's getting her extra rice. There's Blackie. He's he's down there waiting for something. I shot this part of the video just to kind of illustrate how the Filipinos can actually eat with their hands, and uh, very very skilled at it. Michael's great at it. It's a technique. It's a learned technique. That's what they enjoy doing. And uh, you say, well, I couldn't eat with my hands, but it's harder than you think. It's harder than you think. But everybody's got a little job. Uh, one of the girls cut up all the onions earlier. Uh, Jenny's cutting up the carrots. There's the cabbage all cut up for Pachero. And uh, so everybody's got a little job. Uh, they're getting the meat ready for the Pachero right now, the, uh, the pork. And there's another girl. She's... She's watching the rice and tending to the fire. And uh, so Jenny's starting the base for the pachero. That's garlic and, and uh, tomatoes. She'll cook that down and she'll add the meat, get it brown. There's the two dogs. They, they found their rightful place underneath the chair that Rodan made. That's handmade by the guy that's a foreman. Pretty nice. I use that chair quite a bit. Uh, there's Arvin. He's... He's mixing up his cement. He's doing a smoothing out right there on the edge of the concrete. It just was a rough hollow block, and he's kind of smoothing that out little by little. But everybody pitches in. The girls are out there helping helping uh, their tita, my wife, Flora. There's Flo. There's Joy, and you saw Laika before that. They're just out there collecting stuff, getting it together. Everybody's got a little job to do. There's the pork that I bought earlier. There's Arvin. He's applying some water to the sides where he can throw up some cement and start begin the smoothing out process. That thing, even though it's rough now, it's going to look good. Structurally, it's sound, but it's kind of ugly. But he got an old soda bottle, cut a hole in the, the lid, and made a spray bottle out of it. That's the way they do things. They don't have to have the proper equipment all the time. They always know a workaround. But this is what Arvin does a lot in construction. He'll throw that stuff up there and he'll get it all smoothed out. He'll let it dry for a period of time before he starts smoothing it. But you can see the left side of that building, he's already done. And then the right side has still got some smoothing out to do. And this is his area where he's mixing it. He had to go up and, and sift all the ready mix, get all the big rocks out of it so he could prepare it to throw up on the side of the foundation down here. And that's what he's doing. He's working his way around. And at the time of this video uh, gets published, that's all done already. You'll see it later. This was an unusual dish. It's, it's uh, eggplant on the bottom, salted egg on top. It's got some soy sauce probably and vinegar. It's actually a pretty popular dish. One of the girls, one of the younger girls really liked that. And so they made that. Here's the pachero coming out in its full glory. It looks like bulalo, which is a beef bone beef type dish. They have the pan seat, we have the synagogue, we have the cake, and just about getting ready to eat lunch. So they're making the kids the Filipino spaghetti with hot dogs. It wasn't bad, I tried a little bit of it, I'm not a big fan. There's the dogs, they moved the chair, they're still there. So they actually made this dish we were leaving the uh, market this morning, and there was somebody who dropped a fish on the grass. It was still really nice, you know, really. It wasn't sat there very long. And so Diane picked it up off the, the bike. She was on the back of the bike. She picks it up, puts it in a little plastic bag as they're going down the road. And they made a nice little dish out of it. They have pet chai in there. We have the sal one already. So just about time to uh, eat our lunch here in a little bit. So that's about all I've got. I'll, I'll see you later.